Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at controlling the sound using the buttons on your phone or your device and that turns out to be very simple we just need to, to add one line here and first I'm going to go to my game.java and I'm going to look at where I create the sound pool and here we're telling it to play using the audio manager .stream music flag so keeping that in mind, I'm going to go to Game View. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go to my activity, main activity. And I'm going to specify that this activity will control that sound stream. And to do that, I use a method of the activity, which I'll call it onCreate. And I'm going to say here, set volume control stream and pass in that same flag, which is audio manager dot stream music which is down here and now um, I'm going to run the game and what we should see is that the the volume control controls the kind of media volume which will control the sounds in my game and I, I actually was previously doing this using a method that was a lot more difficult and involved changing the volume when you actually play the sounds so here you can specify when you play a sound you can specify a volume and I, I'd seen techniques on the internet for um, figuring out this volume based on the volume control and it didn't work well at all because you could only control the volume of the sounds when they're actually playing and I looked at the Android documentation and discovered I've been doing it the wrong way and this way is a hell of a lot easier so let's uh, just go to the screencast here we go and I'll tap the screen to start and now if I use a volume control you can see that I've got the volume set to maximum at the moment and it's controlling the media volume rather than the ringtone volume let's say and if I now um, let's lose the game so that's maximum volume but if I now turn the volume down you can hear that the ball's getting quieter and let's lose again if possible I don't know if you can hear that but it's much quieter so now we can control the volume of the game and that's it for this tutorial and that's all for this um, little uh, section of the tutorial on programming games and of course this is a very very minimal game and there's so much you could do to improve this like adding a score to it or just turning it into a different game but my object here was just to show you the basics of animation and sound. And if you get really serious about games, you might want to take a look at And Engine. But I warn you, it's a bit of a pain to install and the documentation is kind of sparse. So for my money, writing games like this from uh, using kind of um, from scratch, so to speak, isn't such a, a bad thing to do. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.